Hey guys, welcome to Idolicious and I'm Aditi. So as opposed to a regular recipe video, this time I've thought of sharing you some of the cake supply stuff that I bought from the US on my trip a couple of months back. So I went to a lot of places like California, New York, North Carolina and I picked up a whole lot of stuff. Let me take you through everything and all the useful links would be put in the description box below if you want to check out the stores where I bought my stuff from. So let's get started. So let's start with the haul as it's going to be a long one because I have a lot of stuff to show you. I went a little overboard while shopping but who won't go overboard because the stuff is so cheap there in the US as compared to here in Dubai or India. So let's get started. So this section basically is all Michaels. So for those who don't know, Michael is an art and craft store which uh, which also sells some baking supplies by Wilton. So I'll walk you through everything. Firstly, let me tell you that Michael has this amazing uh, system of coupons where you can go online and print out coupons for 50% off on any item. So what I did was I printed out a couple of coupons. I went in the store, bought one item, did a checkout, paid the bill, got a 50% off and they again gave me more coupons. With every purchase, I got another 50% off coupon. So I checked out uh, one stuff after the other. It took me a little while, but it's definitely worth it because I saved on a lot of dollars. So let's start over here. So I bought this uh, cake icer tip by Wilton. This is nothing but uh, a good tip to ice your cakes. This gives a nice smooth finish without much effort. So I really wanted a good quality one. So I bought, picked up this. Then I got these flour nails which you can definitely use for buttercream flowers or whipped cream flowers but I got these because this has a very flat base to it. I can stick it in between my large cakes like the 14 inch cakes or the 15 inch cakes, the huge ones. I stick it in between the cake mold along with the cake batter and it gives me an even baking so those that's why I bought these. Then I have this amazing uh, mold putty which I got to make my own molds for fondant this is food safe that's why i can use it for fondant and this really gives me a choice of making any kind of molds i want as you can see uh if you guys want i can do a review on this in the future just let me know in the comments below the next thing is i bought a set of these martha stewart craft punches as you can see over here there's this butterfly one there are this flower one then there's this circle one which I can use for an ankylos and then there's this really pretty daisy medallion uh, punch which I, which I plan to use everything with wafer paper. I used this one earlier and it comes out beautiful. I'll insert a picture to show you how cool the pattern looks with on wafer paper and doesn't take a lot of effort, gives you amazing results. So that's what I bought. These were about, I guess, after discount, all were $10, some were $7, something like this. These here, I think, were $5 and $4 or something after discount. So next thing is I went into the clay modeling section. So one thing I should tell you that uh, if you want to buy some fondant tools, don't skip out on the clay section because the clay section has a lot of amazing tools. So like these ones here. So I bought a super slicer mold which is uh, nothing but um, strips of fondant cutters like this. So you can bend these or you can cut a fondant straight. So this really gives you a nice control and gives you really sharp edges. So I really like this one. Um, first I bought this single one but then I found this entire set of super slicer. This has four uh, cutters like this as you can see a straight one, a curved one. Two of the zigzag ones, one is smaller, one is a little bigger. So yeah, I really love this one. This comes along with handles to prevent any accidents. So yeah, I really like this one. As I can show you, one of the zigzag one is like this. So these are really sharp and flexible, so helps me a lot. And then the another thing was these uh, style and details tool. These are ball tools along with color shapers so basically this, this is six and three so really would help me in fondant modeling and stuff and color shapers are definitely good for to clean out those jagged edges fondant so this was all i think about four dollars five dollars after discount so yeah this is what i got from the clay modeling section these two items next uh, 
I got these vanilla bean paste uh, as you can see I really wanted to buy good quality vanilla uh, bean paste from the US this was about six dollars but after discount it came out to be three dollars which I think is pretty cheap so yeah I got these now moving on to my Wilton stuff so firstly I bought this uh, fondant and gum paste mold set so this has these I have uh, the other four uh, Wilton gum posts but I didn't have this one this one has uh, gems and I really like these uh, borders over here which bead border and all so I can use in many of my cakes so I got this this I think was five dollars after discount originally ten dollars then next um, I got these food writers uh, these are I guess about four dollars or so after discount these are edible color markers with fine tip by Wilton and this one is used to write on candies but I'm afraid this doesn't work really well uh, I was really hoping that it would work but alas it didn't <laughs> and then I bought this lemon extract uh, pure lemon extract which I'm going to be using for when I don't want to use alcohol to mix my colors or if I want to make a lemon cake. So for that, this was also, I guess, $2, which I think is pretty cheap. I think everything there in the US is pretty cheap. I bought this set of sprinkles by Wilton. This was again 50% off. I think it was about $3 or so. Then I bought these candy colors, which are chocolate colors. It's a set of four colors, uh, yellow, orange, red, blue. This again also, I think, was... Uh, three dollars or so after discount then i bought these bake even strips this is a pack of six strips i really wanted to try these out for you guys a review of these would be coming out soon these were about 24 dollars and down to 12 dollars with the 50 percent coupon then i bought a whole range of candy melts as you can see purple red blue green black white because i will the white chocolate is generally not that white it has a yellowy tinge to it so i bought a big bag of bright white color so these small ones i get uh, were on discount i didn't have to use any coupon for this these were on discount at michael's for two dollars each and this big one was i guess four five dollars after discount and then i bought these um, color swirl uh, three tip uh, basically you can put three bags and create these beautiful color swirls and i bought these 20 tip set from wilton this has uh, 10 sorry 10 tip set these has 10 very commonly used tips inside so i these two items i basically bought for a giveaway which i'm planning really soon so look out for that so that's pretty much what i bought from michael's this michael's is from san francisco i went in new york so both these stores i went to michael's and i picked all this stuff from so next store is i went to la and in la i went to a store called sur la table it's a store where they sell a lot of pots and pans and they take classes as well i didn't buy a whole lot of stuff from there because i found it a little expensive but again i picked up this because this was on sale and this is a really nice heavy duty lemon squeezer which i bought and one more thing i bought from there was this baking essential pure orange oil which i have good plans to use and this was about six dollars and then there's uh, the surla table is there in the farmer's market so there's a shop called monsieur marcel from where i bought a whole lavender this was about ten dollars or something yeah a little expensive but yeah planning to use this to flavor my cakes and all another thing was fleur de sel which i bought from sur la table this i think was about five six dollars or so yeah so that was all that i bought from la and then moving on i went to new york and there's a whole bunch of stuff which i bought from new york cakes it's a store in new york called new york's ny cakes new york cakes or ny cakes so I picked up a whole lot of uh, Americolor gel paste colors from there. So I have big bottles of red. These were these are about 13.5 ounces of color. And um, these are red, which I use a lot for my red velvet cakes. And this was about, there'll be a price tag somewhere. So I bought two reds and one black. Yeah, there's the price. This was $11, $10.99. So yeah. That's, and the small bottles, which is about 6 ounces, 170 grams, this were all $6 each. So I bought white, I bought gold, I bought ivory, I bought leaf green, and I bought uh, royal blue. So, and I picked up um, veners. Uh, these are rose leaf veners by, by mistake. I picked up both, almost the same kind. This one is a multi-purpose one. This was a leaf one. I should have picked a different one, but it's okay. I'll use all these. 
and then i picked up this alphabet mold which i am using a lot lately this was for eight dollars but it is a really good quality and i really like it and i've used it on a lot of my cakes one more thing i picked up from new york cakes was this uh, ring mold uh, this is tart mold six inches this i think was about four five five dollars yeah that is a good quality tart mold which i really wanted and yeah so that's what i picked up from new york cakes so after new york i went to raleigh and in raleigh i went to a store called home goods which is all over us but i went to uh, home goods in raleigh and from there i picked up uh, all these sprinkles these were all all of them were about 250 yeah two dollars and fifty cents and so i got these silver ones these pink ones pink non prayers white ones and multicolored ones so these are all I, I picked up for 250 from home goods I picked up this um, raspberry bakery emulsion this was also this was about three dollars and I picked the lemon bakery emulsion from there so, and I picked up this cherry pitter for uh, three dollars from home goods again so home goods is a really nice store to get very discounted items so you should visit home goods if you have time i picked up this cookie press set this homemade we eat and baked with love cookie i found these really cute so i picked them up from home goods again these were eight dollars originally 16 dollars so almost a 50 percent discount on that and from home goods one more thing that i picked up from home goods is this pretty cake stand a porcelain cake stand this was i think yeah this was 13 dollars at home goods and i really like them i can change the ribbon to whatever color i want so i really like this one and then i went to walmart in raleigh again and from there i picked up these peppermint extract and there's orange extract i really don't remember the price but it wasn't much it was about three four dollars or so and then i bought this big bottle of pure vanilla extract which i you can see i've used a lot and yeah it's a really good one because uh, there's no corn syrup added to it which generally is the case here as you can see it's only vanilla bean extract in water and alcohol that's it there's no other additive in this so this one is a really good vanilla extract if you want to buy something this was on sale i should have bought another bottle but i didn't and uh, I think I got it for about ten dollars, but now, but now when I saw it on Amazon, it was about sixteen dollars or so. But yeah, I got it for ten dollars as it was on sale. And from there again, from Walmart, I bought these sprinkles. I don't remember the price for these. I'm sorry, but yeah, I bought these sprinkles from Walmart. These big pearls from Walmart. Moving on, I went to TJ Maxx. Uh, TJ Maxx is another discount kind of store in the US you should definitely visit them it has a whole variety of stuff but I picked up these uh, mini spatulas I use mini spatulas all the time and I really wanted a good ones so I got these for two dollars only and uh, these are very good I also picked up uh, mini whisks from TJ Maxx these are also three dollars and I really love the color so I just couldn't leave them and i bought this guitar spatula which i don't know when i'm gonna use but this was about six dollars on sale from twelve dollars to six dollars i really liked the design it found it really cool so i picked it up and one more thing i bought from tj maxx is this cake pan this is a square eight by eight inch cake pan i really wanted something with nice square sides and not the rounded ones this one is by Sola table a very nice company as i spoke earlier but this was on sale in TJ Maxx for $10, which is originally for $22 down to $10. So you find some great stuff at TJ Maxx, you just need to have an eye for that. And one more thing which I really liked is this uh, cake block, which I got. It's basically a serving block, which I wanted to use for cakes. You can see it's a big one. I really like this one. This one was by Crate and Barrel. Yeah. And this one was $25. This one is not cheap at all. But yeah, I really liked it. I look how the I love how the cakes look on these kind of rustic platters. So I picked this one up. So moving on to my last leg. This is the stuff that I bought from Amazon. So I ordered uh, stuff and got it delivered to where I was staying. So I picked up these um, strip cutters. This is strip cutter number two. There were various sizes, but I picked these two sizes only one is number one and number two this one's the thin one thin strips and this one is a little thicker strips so i picked this up these were about uh, this was seven dollars and the other one was eight dollars i guess yeah 
and then I picked up a set of wafer papers these are a4 size wafer papers 100 sheet for $18 which I think is a pretty good deal so I bought these and I bought these mason jars which I love I couldn't find these here in Dubai so I picked these up it's, it has a set of 12 for about $12 or so yeah so I really like using them for drinks for anything basically and these are very good quality ones by ball jars and one more thing i picked up this is a measuring spoon by umbra brand i really like the design because it's four in one so basically this is a half teaspoon quarter teaspoon a tablespoon and a teaspoon so it's all four in one i really like the design of it that's why i picked it up and then i picked up the measuring cups that come along with it also these were i guess nine dollars or something from Amazon and yeah so these are four one cup measure as you can see one cup half cup one third cup and quarter cup all four stacked in like a cup so I really like the design I don't know when I'm gonna use it but I, really, I found them really cool so that's why I picked up and one more thing was um, these uh, nail art brushes which as you can see I've used a lot because these give you a very fine detailing on your fondant i picked it up to paint on fondant i get a really fine tip as well on this so it's easier to write on fondant with these to get all those little detailing so this i picked up for six dollars yeah so that's pretty much it which i bought from the US. So I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed shopping in the US. If you have any questions leave me in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for amazing videos every week. See you again. Bye bye.